my friends welcome to exercise 139 of my 203d cat models in free cat series this model is uh, looks like a lantern one of those like rechargeable lights on the table sort of kind of thing but the main thing is it's a revolve so we we built one sketch and then revolve it and that's in done let's go ahead and do the image processing and calibrating and all those default stuff and that i want to relocate the center of the object to make sure it is in the center on the x e axis aligns with our vertical axis and then i want to actually draw it on the x z plane a sketch now we have done this sort of modeling so many times i guess uh, when i say let's do this sketch and then we will do a revolve everybody gets me that we'll have to draw a sketch so on this sketch uh, one thing to note is that i am doing all the dress up as much as i can the fillets and the chamfering and also i wanted to see if this lid is like a, a thick lid or like a solid object so i wanted to make that a lid kind of thing thinking that this is a rechargeable light desktop like light so with that let's go ahead and finish up our uh, sketching and now it, this took me a long time to figure it out because there are a lot of a um, lot of constraints in one single sketch and things like that normally if it is like a complex object i normally recommend uh, breaking it up in multiple sketches so it, it took me some time to actually figure out all the dimension and stuff and um, but there i am um, almost there finishing the best the uh, the most annoying thing was actually setting all these tiny little fillets i wish i, I did it like you know later on and all set it done let's do a revolve and there is our object now the question is do we know if it is hollow inside if it is a hollow we can just go ahead and apply the thickness though but here is one thing the way i built that lid that brim of the hat up there uh, a negative thickness uh, is not going to work on this one i tried and it didn't work because of that the thickness kind of like uh, conflicts with that brim depth uh, so uh, we can apply outside thickness or we can just go ahead and update our sketch to apply a uh, moving average thickness say 10 millimeter thickness all across uh, inside this object so, which is not part of our drawing assignment for exercise 139 but i just wanted to see update this sketch have that uh, built in in there and then that makes it easier so at this moment when i, I update this sketch I wanted to note that I am building this object in FreeCAD 0.22 developers version. I will leave a link in the description where you can download this uh, and then use it. It's a, you can just click on the file and then you start using it. No installation required kind of thing. So I'll leave that link in the description of this video. You can try that one. Uh, there are a lot of things and improved and this week this is the last week of may latest development is uh, the topological naming issue has been resolved in this developers version the one that i'm currently working on this does not have the topological naming issue so that's a great thing for the user and uh, you can give it a try that's a nice beautiful object hopefully you like this video thank you for watching if you have any question please let them know in the comment section i'll see you next time